i would say uh, uh, it is true uh, building a brand online i would say is a little bit easier <laughs> and faster because just think about it right uh, if you if you're selling to the only commerce platform like in our case me.com or if you're partnering with amazon or flipkart you can probably reach millions of users at one go and you can reach everybody from kashmir to kanyakumari from uh, northeast to rajasthan every place you can cover in a very short period of time while if you have to build physical infrastructure it requires a lot more time and effort right and investment so building a brand online is definitely easier and faster and that's why we also leverage it and sometimes it can be even more cost efficient depending upon which product category it is right uh, so building offline uh, or physical infrastructure is definitely tougher it was also tough for us now when i told this story i told you how successful our offline journey was but i didn't tell you that <laughs> in beginning we struggled <laughs> for 6 months uh, it, had, it was a huge struggle because in fact first time when we started before that store uh, it didn't work well and the reason why it didn't work well because we were trying to do what others were doing so if you look at the traditional offline business for other brands other smartphone brands they go and sell through lakhs of shops across the country and uh, they give out very huge margin they spend a lot of money on advertising they have promoters they have multi level distribution and we didn't have any of these things so when we tried to copy them it didn't work well for us so 6 months we struggled and then we said if we have to win in offline we have to be true to who we are we have to cut down all the cost and we have to be super efficient so we redefined we said we will build our own stores which are either coco or foco stores but these will be only xiaomi stores uh, they will be xiaomi branded and they will be no le- level of distribution or maximum one level of distribution between us and these stores and we will use technology so that the inventory required in the store is very less and the rotation is very fast and hence the roi of the store is pretty high i would say i am still learning uh, but i'll tell you uh, why this is important right uh, we are no, no longer in 1980s and 1990s right uh, when i was growing up uh, when i was growing up the only mode of communication was tv the brands that i consumed in, when i was a child like my favorite soft drink was was uh, uh, gold spot Uh, you don't even find it now in India, right? Uh, but uh, the reason I started buying it because I started consuming it, I would see a TV ad, then I would basically buy it, and that was the way. That's how most of the FMC, FMCG brands were built in India in 80s and 90s and 70s, probably, right? And that was a one mode communi- one way communication. Now, with the advent of social media over the last 10 years or so, I think it's an incredible platform because now it's a two way communication. so you put out something on social media and you get instant feedback whether it is good good bad ugly right uh, i post at least uh, once in a day on all my platforms and i do it myself by the way i, I don't have a team doing it on my behalf because if i am not doing it myself then i will never come to know what people are saying right the whole purpose is defeated right uh, so i do it myself uh, on twitter as a platform because it allows you to make a, do a lot of post so i do it many many more times But on another platform i do at least one or few posts every single day and then uh, i think three things that i would say one is that you have to be regular if you really want to be active like if you want to build your base on social media if you want people to engage with you right one uh, you have to be regular you can't basically do some one post a day like one post one day and then after like three months then one after six months and after like two days like so you have to be regular uh, whatever frequency decide whether it is once in a day once in a week uh once in like 3 days whatever frequency decide you have to be regular um and it requires a little bit of effort like every day i have to think about like what do i post and why should i post right second you have to think of uh, why people are like engaging with you um uh, and uh, so i try and post a uh, different kind of stuff of course majority of my stuff is about company a lot of stuff is about our team and how incredible our team is i try and post it of course uh, once in a while i also post some personal stuff or something right now uh, there's no sometimes i am also amazed like how like i just don't know why something just goes super viral i'll give an example uh, last week i posted about something uh, which actually happened i had an important call just like this one so i usually don't wear a jacket right <laughs> i'm always just in like in a t-shirt uh, and a jeans or like a bermuda right and uh, uh, one day uh, uh, i had an important meeting so i decided to wear a jacket uh, and i was at home so i was feeling lazy so i just wore it over my pajamas and my wife took a picture of me like doing a important call with jacket and a t-shirt and a pajamas below it 
and i just posted it and i it just went super viral uh, uh, like i got like i think few million views on that particular post uh, and i would have never imagined it but it was just something personal something funny i thought of posting it uh, so i mix and match I like majority of the stuff is of course about company what we are doing updates about a to about a product about a business about a team and some personal stuff and um, uh, the third thing i i say is i make it a point to read comments and reactions of users so we open three of those uh, uh, the biggest one is in uh, bengaluru uh, in in indranagar and then we open two more one in delhi in kanauj place and one in chennai uh, now uh, we had to take a little bit of pause because of covid pandemic it's difficult right now uh, but maybe once the situation improves in next 6 uh, months or 1 year uh, we why not we would be open to launching a lot more products in india and we would definitely love to showcase these products even the ones which have not been launched in india uh, to our indian me fans and that's a great way for us to also collect feedback because when me fans walk into these stores like they tell us hey why don't you bring a dinebot scooter hey why don't you bring this cycle why don't you bring this i don't know like smart ac smart washing machine so we it's also a way of mechanism for us to take feedback from them and then decide what product to launch in future uh, and which one not to launch uh we are a huge believer we ourselves are a startup right <laughs> don't don't forget we just a 10 year old company right we are actually younger than many of the startups uh, uh it's funny like it's it's actually true like uh, if you meet a lot of startups they started 15 years ago 12 years ago 10 years ago we are also just 10 year old right so um uh one of the most interesting thing that uh, you'd be surprised uh, with is the fact that i spoke about hundreds of products that we have uh, physical products now only four or five of these products are end to end designed by shawn uh, what are these products smartphones smart TVs uh, laptops uh, routers and now watches uh, these are the products which are end to end designed everything uh, in house by shawn everything else is designed by one of our startups so we have uh, investments in close to 400 companies 400 startups across the world in india we have investments in more than 10 15 startups and uh, uh, out of this there are about 280 companies that we call as ecosystem or iot companies uh, these are companies that we incubated or uh, we found somebody very young and um, they designed these products along with us for example as fitness band is designed by a separate company um and our shoes are designed by a separate company a washing machine is designed by a separate company but our product manager sit along with them and co-design and ensure that all these products work with one single iot platform which is the mihom app so uh, it's a very interesting model that we have like hundreds of companies working along within the xiaomi umbrella uh, and if more number of startups want to work with us we would love to work with them Six months down the line, when we started Jabong, one of the biggest thing that we observed was that majority of the traffic was not coming from desktop. We only had a desktop site or a laptop site at that point of time. But 60% of our traffic was come used to come from mobile phones, and mobile phones those days were not like these kind of mobile phones, like this big screen, Nokia <laughs> N72 kind of smartphones. <laughs> you will be ashamed to call them a smartphone today. My first smartphone was a Nokia N72. Uh, but uh, today uh, 60% of the traffic in those days 10 years ago used to come from that small little device and that was even more surprising for me that we didn't have a mobile site or a mobile app and people were opening the big desktop site and on the small little screen and then buying from there and that's where probably somewhere in 2012 13 my fascination with this mobile device or this small little device called a smartphone increased Uh, so I went on a backpacking trip to China. I spent about a month over there. I met a bunch of founders. Um, uh, Xiaomi founders were one of those at that point of time. I knew Xiaomi founders through common friends for about a year, uh, but had never met them. So I met them at that point of time. Uh, but that was just to understand the mobile ecosystem in the world or in in China. It was nothing to do with uh, like running Xiaomi's business in India. And then I exited Jabong sometime in 2014. And was wanted to do something in the smartphone space, and that's when Xiaomi was wanted to start in India in their business. My advice to anybody would be: you should know if you are starting online, it's of course easier. If you're going offline, if you are opening brick and mortar stores, it's definitely tougher. Uh, require more investment. Um, uh, you should not try and do what others are doing. It didn't work for us, 
so it may or may not work for you also what others are doing uh, depending upon your product category depending upon what you are trying to sell and how you are trying to sell try start small start with one or two stores perfect the business model and then expand further